Hi, everyone. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> My name is uh, George Gomez, um, and as Jenny said, I'm uh, one of the founders of DeVriot. Um, DeVriot, um, uh, we make Figma plugins, um, and for the past four years, I think we build uh, about 25 plugins, uh, Figma plugins. Um, just a quick question, actually. Um, how many of you already used the DeVriot's plugin? Well, that's nice. Thank you for coming. Um, for, the, for the others, we're going to uh, present uh, a little bit what uh, the plugins we do. Uh, the talk today is about uh, the magic of uh, DeVriot's plugins. Um, and we're going to have a demo and go through uh, what some of the things you can do with the, with the new plugin. We're going to use also today Figma Make, which just released, uh, that has been just released today. So um, it, could, it should be fun. Um, very quickly, some of the best uh, plugins uh, we have. Um, so some of you um, for sure know about HTML to design. I can take any website and move it into a Figma design. Um, Figma to website is actually like Figma site. Um, I would say it's even better, but I'm not judging. <laughs> <laughs> um, story to design um, is about uh, creating design systems, and it can take a storybook, if you have one, uh, and turn it into uh, Figma components with all the variants. Uh, and everything. Um, this is really amazing when you have very complex uh, components in, in Storybook. It can create thousands of variants in a few seconds. Uh, data to design is all about creating, um, creating with your own data. So you can take your, your, your own data from a spreadsheet, a Google spreadsheet, and apply that data into your design. So you can, you can shape shift your design with different data. Um, and test if your design works with real data and on different values. So those are the most advanced plugins we do. And feel free to come at the booth um, to, to have uh, demos or talk about them. Um, another set of plugins that we recently released is about importing plugins into Figma. And so we do support across all those plugins, I think, nearly 100 uh, file formats. So if you have Photoshop, if you have Illustrator files, PDF files, PowerPoint, uh, Adobe Keynote file, all those formats, we import them with the vectors and text layers um, and everything. So uh, you can also check, check this out. Uh, lastly, we have a few plugins that uh, do image editing, uh, where you can remove background, remove objects in image, upscale the images, or vectorize them. Um, so those are um, dedicated to uh, playing with the images right into Figma. Um, today we're going to look into those two plugins. And um, the demo will be structured like this. We're going to actually use uh, the brand new Figma Make and generate ideas for us. And we're going to bring those ideas into Figma um, design with HTML to design. And then from there, uh, we, we're going to make a few changes and upload them into the web and have a website at the end of the session. So wish me luck, and, uh, we, because all this is going to be live, and everything uh, has to work on the first try. <laughs> OK, but thank you. Um, so we start here. This is Figma Make, if you uh, missed the, um, the keynote. So what we're going to do, um, I thought about what I'm going to uh, demo. And one of the ideas that I like is that um, I have my grandma is actually uh, Portuguese. And she has a code recipe that is very nice and is traditional. And I thought, let's make a, a website that, that uh, we can share this recipe with the world. And so that's what I'm going to ask Make to do for me. Um, so. I'm just going to copy paste this. So very simple. I'm just going to say, my grandma shared this traditional code recipe from Portugal with me, make a website so I can remember it forever and share it with the world. And actually, I could have pasted the recipe as well, but it's going to make it up. And so this is going to take some time. 
but um, as you've seen, it's going to build up the website um, and writing the code. While this is happening, and because um, I don't want to bore you, I initially thought I would make jokes and uh, sing and everything, but I, I think it's maybe we have better things to do. So this is another example that I did where I asked a simple question, a simple request I made. I was recently in Japan, make a website where I can share the memories of my trip. And keep in mind, this is all I asked, uh, nothing else. And this is the important element. And it, it came up with a hero page, trip highlights, a photo gallery, and a travel journal, and a journey map. I mean, the map could be better. I think we all agree. But the interesting thing is the um, Figma Make actually proposed those sections to me. And I think it was, it, it, it was interesting because, you know, obviously I would have done a photo gallery, but maybe I wouldn't have done um, the trip highlight section. And so it was, it was an interesting uh, add-on as an idea, as ideas that, are, that were bring by Figma Make. And, and I think that um, for ideation, uh, that was very interesting. Another example is a website for a wedding. And so the only thing I said is, I'm getting um, married on September 16, 16th and uh, make a website for my wedding. I actually made this. Um, again, it, it used a section for our story, the event details, separating the ceremony from the reception, uh, the gallery, the location, and the RSVP, of course. So it's interesting, like, I haven't asked for all those things, but it came up with it, and, and actually it will give me ideas and will help me to design something even better. Um, so let's see how um, we are on our website. Here we go. This is what has been created. And this is, and all I ask is uh, the recipe. It could be, it could have been actually better. I'm going to give you an example of what's been created before. So this is another example that I've done earlier. And as you can see, it's, it's even nicer. And it used, uh, it's used the markdown that actually I used previously. So in this example, I give, I give the recipe also right away here. Um, one thing we can do from here, which uh, I think is interesting, is that this is very nice and, and so, but there's one thing I would like to do is maybe talk about my grandma here. And so I don't know how I'm going to do that, but let's say I'm going to ask, um, can you add a um, brief description and photo of my Grandma, at the end, and off it goes. While this is happening, I'm going to check something else. So this is Deep Riot's uh, website today. Um, and uh, in this new version of the website, we don't have a team page. And so I just thought, can Figma make help me uh, create a team page? And so in this example, I actually gave Figma make a screenshot of the website, just the top of the, uh, the screenshot of the website, sorry. And, and I said, I attached a screenshot to our website, derails.com. Can you create a team page to present the team? And this is what it came up with. And again, it's not beautiful. It's not particularly uh, uh, design uh, specifically, but it gave me some ideas. I think I like this Polaroid kind of style, for example. That's maybe something I'm going to use or not. And I can actually ask him, for, ask it for something else. And it also brings the values. And that's a good point, I think, um, for a team page. We could, uh, we could add the values and join the team. So those are, again, elements that I didn't request. They just got to me, and that could help me design and give me ideas to design new stuff. Uh, let's see how we're doing here. Here we go. 
uh, sorry, this is here. And here we go. We have a new uh, box at the end of the website, as I asked it, um, to talk about my grandma. So let's go, let's go now to the next step. And we're going to bring this into uh, Figma design to do the final work, because a code recipe with a pizza as a picture, that's not going to work. So um, this is where I'm going to use the HTML to design plugin that comes with a Chrome extension, where I can actually capture the website. And we actually um, just now um, modified the, the Chrome extension to actually capture on Figma, uh, Figma Make directly. Oh, sorry. My mistake. I'm going to send it to the plugin directly. I moved into Figma Design. I can launch the HTML to Design plugin. Go to the Extension tab, and here we go. And I'm going to ask him to paint it into the Figma canvas. Here we go. So just bear with me. Move this up here. Can remove that. And one thing I'm going to do as well is I'm going to bring a mobile version off of it. And so to do this, I'm going to just remove resize this like this, and then call it again. And now I'm going to launch the plugin again and bring the mobile version. Oh, sorry. And we have both versions, mobile, in design. If my, and I can show you, this is all design with layers properly. Um, so now I'm going to change the picture because that's not the good picture. I'm actually not go doing going to send the exact picture of my grandma, but at least I'm going to. Sorry. At least I'm going to send a new, I'm going to change to another one. And then we can do that over here as well on the desktop version. Sorry. There we go. So finally, as we discussed, we're going to move this into the web. So I just need to do a few things. I need to turn this into auto layout because it's not done automatically yet. Um, and I need to move this as well in auto layout. There we go. So let's see if we can uh, move this to the web. I'm going to group the pages together. Call that page. I'm going to launch another plugin, which is Figma to website. I'm going to select this as my first page. And I'm going to hit publish. Do you trust me? There we go. I'm going to go here, test the URL. Ah, problem. It's not, not what I uh, was planning for. OK. There we go. And this is our website. And we should have the picture of my grandma. Demo effect. 
and we can even verify the fact that it works on mobile. Uh, it could have been centered better, demo, demo effect. You can try um, on, your, uh, on your phone. I'm going to make it easier for you. Uh, oh, yeah. But it's, uh, the URL is testvovo.figweb.site. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's how fast we can do this. <laughs> um, let's go back to the slides, please. I'm just, just going to say thank you for, for coming um, and, uh, and to watch uh, my demo. Um, you, can, uh, you can absolutely come to the, to the booth. Uh, we have some swag and stuff. And if you want demos and if you want to chit chat about uh, what we do and the plugins we have, it would be um, a pleasure uh, and to answer any of your questions. Thank you very much.